morning, good morning. Um, today, I'm gonna show you the duties and responsibilities as a caregiver. First, struggles everyday routine. Here are some duties and responsibilities as a caregiver. Activities of daily living such as eating, bathing, and dressing. Assisting for transferring the bed, toileting, walking or moving around. Assisting the client for taking shower, their oral hygiene, assisting the client for eating and toileting, and bed bath. Assisting the client from wheelchair into bed, Caregivers take the struggles out of the everyday routine, eliminating challenges and boosting independence while it is not an easy job of all the caregivers. I'm gonna prepare the medication of the client for after, after she's eating for the breakfast, I'm gonna give them the vitamin. medicines for them to take and after we're going to to outside for them to exercise they're needy today's video i'm gonna prepare the vitamins for my clients after she's eating so here is the Keep track of your older adults' appointment and tasks in a planner or calendar. Doing some household chores. Managing a person's household, like cleaning, tidying up, removing trash and clutter, and doing laundry and folding clothes. washing the plate I'm gonna throw the garbage as well caregiving is providing care for the physical and emotional needs of a family member or a friend at home for today's video I'm doing a caregiver is someone who is responsible for looking after another person for example, a person who has disability. Being a caregiver means making someone's life easier, safer, and more comfortable. One of caregiver sayings being a support system for people who are in need is rewarding purely. Being able to see the positive in a caregiving role is part of what allows many caregivers to be satisfied and find pride in their jobs. Giving back to someone else is gratifying and often caregiving gives people lives meaningful, helps them feel successful. Sanitizing the bed and changing the linens of my client is very important. So I'm going to change and fixing all the bed. I wanted to make an impact in someone's life to brighter their day in one of the most vulnerable times 
of their lives to hold the hand of someone love love one when their family can't be around being a caregiver is not just about performing a job it's about having the privilege to care for someone and companionship to those who need it the the most i don't want my client feel bored so i'm just opening the tv to watch them and selecting the movie so he's not feeling bored so tomorrow we have early appointment so i'm making sure to prepare all the things they wanted for the checkup appointment so because we have an early appointment um, I'm gonna make sure that we didn't miss anything even the food and we reach on time for our appointment time and I'm assisting also my client because he cannot walk in the wheelchair so we already reach in the clinic and um helping assist my client i'm gonna make sure that my client is comfortable and i'm assisting them also in the wheelchair because it's very difficult for them to He have some operation in his legs, so it's difficult for them. Being a caregiver is not just about performing a job. It's uh, about having the privilege to take care for someone and slow compassion to those who need it. And their family, they don't have time for taking care of them because they are busy also for their job so we are the responsible to taking care of them to make it sure that they are in a good hands so we finish early in our appointment providing constant companionship and general supervision activities running errands and help getting in and out of the wheelchair accessible vehicles being a stable companion and supporter in all matters personal health related and emotional mm. i give them some fruits and he wants to eat feeding whether a person can feed themselves or need assistant we're just assisting them a soccer giver is very important to to have a blue book for whatever we make we should write and update every every time every day even what food we give we should write it for our safety also it's very important for being a caregiver to have uh, references companionship and mental support this is a fundamental and much needed for daily living it reflects on the help that may be needed to keep a person in a positive frame of mind so it's time to rest and we finish everything we're going home and and my client is being tired it's very important to check my client every two hours from the position of the bed to prevent bed sore it's very important to check every two hours the position of our client and 
support them. After a tiring day, we should have our own pampering day to stay healthy and active emotionally and physically. We should be ready and doing some activities also to refresh our mind. After work, we give ourselves also to go outside, making some friends, doing what we want to do of our make us happy. For me, I'm doing gardening. And my stress reliever is the plant. Make me enjoy. Make me happy.